Lost in the nastiness, Trump's admission Sunday night he hasn't paid personal federal income taxes in years. Even so, Christine, Trump still won't release his taxes or produce the evidence they are, as he so often says, under active IRS audit. Now, you know, RNC Chairman Reince Priebus held an emergency call Monday night, Major, and he told members that the party stands with Trump. Let's take a listen to that real quick. I want to make it very clear that the RNC is in full coordination with the Trump campaign and we have a great relationship with them. If there's any takeaway from this call, that's the takeaway. Uh, nothing has changed in regard to our relationship and uh, we remain uh, very much uh, involved and together at all levels of making these decisions on how best to run the operation across the country. All right, so Major, explain to me the difference between Priebus's role and Ryan's role at this point. Well, Ryan Priebus is the Republican National Committee chairman, and it's worth noting how unusual and almost without precedent that statement from Ryan Priebus was at this stage of a campaign. It is almost unheard of for there even to be a discussion at a major party whether or not at this stage of a campaign it would be putting all of its resources behind the nominee. Of course it would be under normal circumstances and with a normal nominee. These are not normal circumstances. Trump is anything but a normal nominee. And over the weekend there was a pause in RNC activities on Trump's behalf until after the Sunday debate. Ryan Priebus was part of that debate preparation team and he impressed upon Trump the urgency of performing well in that debate and the necessity of doing so to rekindle RNC support for his campaign on the ground and to reassure Republicans made very nervous by the tape on Friday and being uncertain as to how Trump would handle it on Sunday night. So that's Ryan Priebus's role. Paul Ryan is the Speaker of the House, which is an institutional position. He represents every House member, Republican and Democrat, but he's elected by his Republican members. And Paul Ryan heard from a lot of members Friday and Saturday deep concerns about the Trump tape and fears that more revelations were coming. And his initial impulse was to denounce Trump and say, you all are free in the Republican Party conference to, if you have endorsed Trump, disendorse him, run as fast as you can from him. But on Saturday night, Ryan was persuaded to wait until Sunday's debate, let Trump make his performance, and then let members tell him what they thought. And a good number of House Republicans said, hey, leadership, don't get squeamish. Don't run away from Trump. He was nominated fair and square. He's got a ton of election, of, of votes rather, from Republicans who participated, some for the first time in these primaries. Stick it out with Trump. That's what we want you to do. Ryan said, you know what? I'm not going to campaign for him, and I'm going to let every Republican who needs to for their own congressional race make up their own mind. If that means running against Trump, do it. If it means ignoring Trump, do it. If it means running in lockstep with Trump, do it. Do whatever you have to do to protect the congressional Republican majority, but not necessarily make it easier for Donald Trump to win your congressional district, your state, or the presidency. And that's where these two good friends, Ryan Priebus and Paul Ryan, both from Wisconsin, both staunch and long-standing political friends and political allies, that's the dividing line they find themselves on opposite sides of right now. All right, Major Garrett reporting for us in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Major, thanks for joining us. You got it.